Srinagar is often referred to as the paradise on earth for its breathtaking natural beauty, serene lakes and stunning Mughal gardens. This city located in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir is a dream destination for travelers seeking peace and adventure. Whether you are boating on Dal Lake, sipping on kava or exploring the scenic surroundings, every moment in Srinagar is a cherished memory. Hello people, welcome to my channel Khao Local Gumo Global. This is me Pragya Sharma exploring one at a time and I am here to share my Srinagar experience of staying in a hostel, places which I have explored and the food joints I have tried during my visit. The major reason for choosing this place is because to avoid heavy rainfall which happens during this time in Himachal region mainly. Srinagar is located in the northern part of India in the Kashmir Valley and is situated on the banks of the Jhelum River. It is surrounded by the Himalayan mountain ranges which provide a breathtaking backdrop to the city. Due to the popular trek in Srinagar called the Kashmir Great Lakes, Srinagar has opened its arms to travellers or backpackers to stay on a pocket-friendly budget in the hostel. And because of the backpackers coming to the city, hostel presence has increased. There are two popular hostel chains in the city. One is Zostel and the other one is Go Stops. And I selected Go Stops for many reasons. And the two main reasons are price and location. Let's talk more in detail about this and on account of 1, 2, 3, rock and roll. I booked Ghost of for 10 days staycation which is situated at Rajpark. The Rajpark is a posh locality and is considered the city centre for many cafes and shopping markets. The location is the plus factor of this hostel which allows you to go in the night time for the local stall. The property caretaker have turned this guest house into a pocket friendly beautiful hostel offering a lesser price than the hostel. They have mixed bed dorms, female dormitories and private rooms. I booked my bed in an 8 bed mixed dorm which was spacious with full of facilities including an ensued washroom. The only odd we all had in our experience was the shower facility. Well, they have hand shower which works very slowly and is time consuming for a bath. It is weird odd but it becomes irritating when you stay for a long time. Maybe they lose one star out of five due to this odd. Rest everything was very nice, especially the staff. They are very friendly and welcoming. One manager is from Himachal whose name is Mukesh and the other is from local Kashmir whose name is Irfan and applaud the rest of the team. The hostel was filled with group travellers, solo travellers and backpackers from different parts of the city. You can choose this for your longest stays and work here. The dedicated space is given for work but you can choose to work anywhere you want. All the basic facilities like the speed of the Wi-Fi, electricity, drinking water facility, cozy corners and space to chill with other fellow travellers were on the top, keeping in mind the privacy of each visitor. They follow a strict rule that drinking is not allowed anywhere on the hostel premises because of the city culture and I request we all follow this basic rule out of respect for the city. So tell me in the comment section how do you like this property and if you have any question related to the hostel do write in the comment section I would be happy to answer. And this was all about my stay in Sydney. Now let's jump on to the next topic places to explore and brief because the detailed video is already out on my channel and at the end of this topic I will also share about the rental bike situation and cab situation in the city. Here are the top 10 places you can cover in your 4 day trip. Spot 1, Dal Lake, the most iconic attraction of Srinagar which is large, shallow and serene freshwater lake that covers approximately 18 square kilometer according to Google. Dal Lake offers the famous Chikara ride stay in the boathouse and local handicraft and items for shopping around the area. Spot 2, Parimahal, also known as Palaces of Fairies or Palaces of Angels, consists of seven terraces built on a hill, offering panoramic view of the Dal Lake and surrounding mountains. Each terrace is adorned with beautifully landscaped gardens. Back in history, it is served both as observatory and a teaching centre for Islamic scholar. Over the years, the Parimahal has undergone restoration effort to preserve its historical and architectural significance. Its location relatively secluded makes it a peaceful escape for the hushal bashal of the city. 
Spot 3 Chelam Rajpath River Front Chelam is one of the major river in the city and offers a serene and scenic environment. This green space is famous for walk, cycling and to relax. If you are looking to connect with the simple beauty of nature then this is the place for you my fellow traveler. Spot 4 Polo View Market is a place to buy local handicraft souvenir and Kashmiri antiques for your home. You get most of the takeaways of Kashmir things like local art, clothes, cuisine, saffron and dry fruits, magnets, keychain etc. Spot 5 Lal Chowk also known as Red Square is a prominent and historic commercial center in Srinagar, a bustling shopping district and also a cultural and historical landmark. The market is easily accessible from different parts of Srinagar. Spot 6 Pahalgam Plan for a long distance trip to Pahalgam approximately 100 plus kilometer distance one side from Srinagar. You can book a private cab and directly go to these places but you can go via local transport also. Spot 7 After Pahalgam I decided to explore Baisaran side and walked for 20 to 30 minutes and came back to Pahalgam. Spot 8. Pahalgam se mera next stop tha Aru Valley. Aru Valley is a stunning and relatively lesser known destination in the Pahalgam region surrounded by lush green meadows, dense forest and snow-capped mountains. The valley offers nice view at every turn. Aru Valley provides a silent scape from the hushal bushal of the city life. The soothing sound of the nature and the absence of urban noise makes it an ideal place to unwind. Spot 9. I am taking you to a picture perfect spot approximately 55 kilometers from Srinagar called Dood Patri, also known as the Valley of Milk, is a pristine and lesser known destination located in the Badgam district. The valley is covered with lush green meadows that are ideal for picnics, leisurely walks, and relaxation. You will also see many Kashmiris setting up their picnic spot and tourists gearing up for a hike or a mule ride. A not so tiring activity and completely worth coming here. Spot 10. Here is the final destination of your trip and let me take you to a super offbeat place called Naranak which is the base of a very popular trek called Kashmir Great Lakes in short KGL. Naranak is a hidden gem in the Kashmir Valley offering a serene and authentic experience of the Gandabal district. These temples primarily dedicated to Lord Shiva date back to the 8th century. Towards Naranak comes Wangar village is a home to many Kashmiri Muslims and interacting with them offers insight into the traditional way of life in the Kashmir region. Do not expect too much from this place, the village is preserved by the resident and is away from the commercialization. These places provide a balanced mix of exploring Srinagar's culture and natural attraction as well as taking day trips to nearby destinations like Dudpatri and Pahalgam and enjoy your visit to this beautiful part of India. A little note about two-wheeler and four-wheeler rentals. So, bhai, forget about the four-wheeler uh, self-drive rentals. Ha, taxi app chalta hai called Jugnu, to wo aap download kar lena. But note that the driver may charge extra than the price showing in the app. So, better to call him when you book the ride. About renting a two-wheeler, ha, ye option hai. You can find the shops near the Dull Lake Market or the Ghost Stops Hostel. The charges are somewhere in the range of 700 to 800 depending on the days like weekend or weekdays. And 900 something for bike. Maybe I'm not sure to be honest because I have two-wheeler ka wo, moped wali ka pata kiya tha. So this is about the two-wheeler renting. Jumping on to the next topic and do save the places to eat to add in your list. Spot 1 Books and Bricks Cafe has a unique concept of combining books and bricks to create a striking ambience. The menu includes a variety of dishes from all over the world ranging from Italian to Mexican to American. Books and Bricks Cafe is the perfect place to relax and enjoy solo or with friends or with family. Spot 2 Sunset Food Point Court in Aru Valley. Pelgam region is a food place to offer taste at an average price. If you are looking for a place to fill your stomach with the quantity of food at a reasonable rate, this is the place for you. Spot 3 Everest Kitchen The restaurant offers a delightful escape into Tibetan culture through its food and ambience. It's a nice place for a leisurely meal or to unwind with friends. 
overall i enjoyed my food and for me this place truly shines with the traditional tibetan ambiance offering a peaceful atmosphere in the city spot food pirzu restaurant situated at pirzu island gives a jhelum side riverfront I ordered flavored rice for myself. It was a little pricey, somewhere around 300 rupees, but the quantity was filling the rate. If you are in a group of family or looking for a riverside silent place to have a food with a nice conversation, so this is the place. Spot five, Cafe Liberty. There are few restaurants that stand above the rest, and Cafe Liberty in Srinagar is such place. The setup of the restaurant is. quite good the whole antique and old items idea adds a charm to the place and you will love spending time here do try the pizza sandwich desserts and kashmiri wasna the restaurant is located near lal chowk in a building called ali jan complex on its second floor which is next to the city mall spot 6 punjabi dhaba ha ji to yahan aapko limited food option milega rajma chawal and tandoori roti and chai na ji swad ki koi kami nahi hai and the rates are highly reasonable Another veg dhaba called Punjabi hatti and tea stall well here also limited food like rajma chawal aloo paratha roti and tea at a highly reasonable price this is also one of the places where i used to come frequently for my tea and breakfast spot 7 cloud 9 cafe and grill acha tha nice decor outdoor sitting arrangements quite ambiance and truly a must visiting vibe i was craving for something crispy so i ordered veg spring roll and specially told the waiter to make it as crispy as possible there are many varieties of food options including beverages snacks dessert indian fast food chinese italian and more this has been added to my suggestion list if you are near the rajwad area Spot 8 14th Avenue this is one of the bakeries that come in the recommendation when you look for the best bakeries in Srinagar as you step inside the aroma of the freshly baked food and the warm inviting atmosphere welcome you with open arms it is truly a good place for those with a sweet tooth i ordered cheese garlic bread for myself and it was delicious i know i should have tried some dessert stuff but trust me my stomach was filled with food and water If you find yourself nearby the Rajpag area riverside be sure to stop at this cafe and try the menu of your choice A quick note on ordering food yes you have an option to use Swiggy Zomato for food order a detailed video is out on my YouTube channel do check out for more details And here comes to the end of food journey and the end of Srinagar series. Srinagar is more than just a tourist destination. The region, the complex political and security situation has been a part of its narrative and visitors need to respect local customs and adhere to travel advisories to ensure a safe and enjoyable journey. When I was planning my solo trip to Srinagar, I had a few odds in my mind like kaise hoga, will I be able to travel solo? places are far how am i going to cover them is it going to be most expensive trip and what not well most expensive trip to rahi because of the flight travel the rest of everything was nice and the trip ended on a good note i hope this video was informative for you if you have any questions or suggestions do write in the comment section you can connect to me for frequent travel updates on my instagram and facebook handle it's called khao local ghumo global i think by the time i release this video i'll be at my next destination so this is me pragya sharma exploring one at a time signing off i'll see you guys in my next release till then travel safely stay safe and explore the world with care bye salam